Hey guys, what's up? Sports Talk 123 here. And today, guys, I didn't really plan on making a video, but once I saw the stories I'm going to talk about, I just had to make a video. I just couldn't not talk about them. Uh, so the first story that I'm going to be talking about is with uh All-Star NL MVP candidate Brian McCann on the disabled list with a strained left oblique. The Atlanta Braves felt the need to go after a veteran catcher. And they ended up acquiring Will Neves from the Milwaukee Brewers. You know, veteran catcher. He can get the job done, you know, while Brian McCann's on the disabled list. Not an elite starting catcher anymore, but he'll def definitely get the job done for him. I mean, he he can still he's still a major league quality catcher, just not, not anything great. He's not great, he's a little older, but you know, whatever. That's not the big story. The big story is that in return for Will Neves, the Brewers acquired a one dollar. Uh, yes, you heard that right. Will Neves was traded for exactly one dollar, not one thousand dollars, not one hundred thousand dollars, not one million dollars, one dollar. Uh, and you know, this is just trades like this. I just really don't understand them. I mean, I guess you have to trade the player for something, but if he's really that worthless to you, I mean, I don't. I don't get it. One dollar, I mean, that's just, if, could you imagine if you were that guy, how just insulting that would be and stuff. But, whatever, I guess, I mean, you'd be glad to get off the team, that's what they thought you were worth. But, I mean, still, one dollar, that's just, I mean, I had to talk about this. Uh, like, I remember a few years ago, a minor league player was traded for, like, 17 maple bats or something. But, I mean, this isn't a minor league player, this is a major league catcher who just got traded for one dollar yes he doesn't have a lot of value anymore I mean he's pretty much worthless I mean he's just filling in for an injured player and if he wasn't filling in for an injured player he'd probably be in triple-a somewhere but still one dollar uh, the cash considerations end up being one dollar I don't get it uh next we're talking about uh Felix Hernandez snapping the Seattle Mariners franchise record 17 game losing streak you know I mean it was if anyone was going to do it, you think it'd either be Michael Pineda or Felix Hernandez. Uh, Michael Pineda's turn, uh, he didn't get the job done. But, you know, Felix Hernandez's turn came back around in the rotation. And he got the Mariners the win. So, you know, now they're losing streaks over. Uh, obviously, Felix Hernandez will be in Seattle for a long time to come. They've already said that they're not trading him. They said, you know, you're trying not to lose your biggest asset. And he's their biggest asset. So they've already said that they are not getting rid of him. Um, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, oh yeah, I want to talk about the NL East a little. Uh, out in the NL East, you know, the Marlins are asking for a lot in, in exchange for Leo Nunez and Ricky Nolasco and Anibal Sanchez. So it doesn't look like any of those players are going anywhere. They might get moved, but it's it's going to be it's a high asking price right now. So nothing really looks like it's going to be getting done there. But, you know, the NL East is changing a lot. You know, Carlos Beltran's gone. Zach Wheeler's in. And, you know, so be looking for the NL East to be shifting around a lot. I mean, it's it's already been a very exciting division to watch. But now it's just getting a little better. Even though Carlos Beltran's lost, they still got Jose Reyes, you know. And the, all the Phillies players and the Braves, it's going to be a good race going down the stretch. Phillies are probably going to win it by a lot, but there's still going to be a lot of good games, a lot of excitement from that division. And then the Marlins have a lot of uh, have a lot of young talent, and that division it's just going to be good for years to come. I mean, that's just it's pretty fun to watch. But you know, uh, and uh, it looks like the Braves are not going to be moving Derek Lowe. They are just, I mean, they're they're just coming out and saying that they're not really interested in moving Derek Lowe unless they're blown out of the water by an offer. So, all right, guys. I mean, I wasn't planning on making a video. I'm kind of tired right now. Maybe my maybe my bags are my eyes or something. Maybe my eyes are a little purple. I mean, it looks kind of weird, but you know, whatever. I thought I needed to get these stories out to you guys so you guys could hear a little about a little bit about this. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, uh, like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Thanks. See ya.